Behind me is Pinot Meunier, till about a quarter of the way along, then Pinot Noir, and then about four rows of Chardonnay that we couldn't fit in in the valley. And there's four clones of Chardonnay down here. That's the Chardonnay there. This is what the team came on Sunday, no, Saturday to put on. They did it all in a day. Rabbit guard, stick, and that's it. Everybody tells me they should be budding, but there isn't much sign of it yet. This field's called Daniels, um, after one of the owners of the farm. Um, this face is almost due south here, and west here. So I don't know, where the sheep are is too high. We wouldn't go that high, it'd be get very windy. Um, I think maybe this corner here and down, lower down, I think would make an excellent vineyard and the people who tested the soil liked it too. Stephen first had the idea for vineyard in 1987 when we came here because it's all chalk and um, we had some soil samples done but then we had a succession of rather nasty summers and winters and just thought oh well it's probably not worth it and English wine wasn't really going so well then so we forgot about it until two years ago. Well it was entirely Stephen's idea I must say I wouldn't have taken a punt on it. He says it's me. <laughs> I don't know. I think it is me basically. I'm learning as I go along. He did all the ordering of the vines and he does the paperwork, I'm glad to say, because that I loathe. I said, I won't do this unless you do the paperwork. So, he does the paperwork. Well, he's, he, his role started with the planting. His role starts, I mean, you know, publicising, doing things, um, talking about it. His, his role is, is ongoing all the time. Okay. He's really involved. He fusses about it more than I've ever known him. I've never known him even notice a plant before. <laughs> the grape variety is a Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier and Pinot Noir, basically. We have uh, four clones of Chardonnay. I think the first vintage won't be till about 2014, as I understand it. It's a bit like the fourth bridge. Um, you start at one end and you go on to get the other and then you start again. You spray, you tweak, you prune, you tie in, you, uh, you get rid of the weeds and um, you bud rub, which is beastly, and then you start again. So far there hasn't been much to do. Planters have planted it and a large team came in and put all the tree guards on and now we're waiting for the first shoots and then we will really start working. The company is called Bride Valley Brute because this is the Bride Valley, um, but I don't know what the wine is going to be marketed as. Well, depends how you classify fun. Um, it's interesting, very interesting. It's not always fun, but yes, basically yes. <laughs>